Hey guys, Danny from Your Guitar Academy and welcome back to Unit 3 of our Angus Young course. And today we're going to start a little bit of major and minor. Now, we've talked about this in our Blues Essentials courses and in various other courses because a lot of rock guitar players really do come from a blues background. So this is very much a bluesy concept but something we can do in rock a lot and it's the major and minor crossover. Today I'm going to talk about why we can do it in rock and where Angus Young does it. Okay, that's crucial here. We're going to have two lessons, the two key places that Angus Young performs this technique as it were. So pick up your guitar and let's get started. Okay, if you're just joining us in this course, then please do head on over to the website where you'll find the full write-up of everything absolutely free. That includes the fretboard diagrams, that includes all the tab, and basically everything you need to really master each lesson. Now, as well as that, if you're watching us here on YouTube, please do like and subscribe and leave us a comment. We love hearing back from you guys and very happy to answer any questions that you might have. Okay, so we've, we've heard this before, right? So we'll hear, we'll, we'll have a sound that's doing something like this. And suddenly we're here. Or we might hear something like this kind of sound. This major and minor crossover, okay? Where we're literally bringing the major pentatonic on top of the minor pentatonic and kind of going in between the two, okay? So first thing I wanna talk about is where this comes from and why this works. And initially this, this comes from like a blues idea. So, you know, we're very used to hearing, if I was playing a blues with this kind of... This kind of classic switcheroo between the two, okay? Now, one, if you're really interested in learning it with blues, then do check out our Blues Essentials level one and two, and soon to be level three and four and so on. Um, they're gonna massively help you with this, but I wanna do a kind of rock version of this now with Angus Young, and do it how he would do this, okay? so. The reason it's usable in blues is because of the dominant seventh chords. And the dominant seventh chords involve both a major third and a flat seven. And it's the combination of those two, the major third really defines that major sound within it. And the flat seven, the kind of minor sound, the more aggressive kind of uh, minor end of the, of the, of the sound range. Um, in rock, especially in ACDC style rock, we're using power chords. <laughs> Okay, and <laughs> the power chords sound obviously amazing. We've been through this, we've been through how to do these. And because the power chord is simply a root and a fifth, um, it really doesn't define itself as major or minor. So if I was to play in the key of, let's call it A minor, you know, and I would play a chord progression that went like A minor to, let's just clean this up a little bit, A minor to D minor. Okay, and then went to E minor. And within that you've got three minor chords, but all of which utilize that minor third. So it really defines it. These are the three minor chords in the key of A minor. So really over the top of that, I've got no choice but to play minor. Minor pentatonic or minor scale. Or even you might try and play harmonic minor over that or whatever you choose to do. Um, but it, it, your, the choice is limited because of the chords that I'm playing are in the key of A minor. We're using that minor third, okay? If I was to make that A major, and I'd play A major, D major, E major, D major. Again, all of these chords are based around the key of A major, and it's really, you know, by using that major third, in each one, I'm, I'm restricted to the idea of major. When I'm doing power chords, it's neither here nor there, okay? So I can do this, this, uh, this chord chart, so I can go. Now, over that, you know, you could say, okay, so there's no flat third. 
there's no major third, so they're not major. so on um, so you can hear actually your pentatonic is is influencing the actual chord itself because the pentatonic is suddenly coloring in the notes that just aren't there at the moment you've got root you've got a fifth but it's neither here nor there when you do your pentatonic you color it in okay you're like ah this is minor now or ah this is major now and it's that switch between the two that is so massive in Angus Young's style of playing okay so that's the gist of it and what I want to do here is talk about just like one position today and in the next lesson another position okay because really you could do this all across the neck but I don't think Angus Young does that and I think he's much more of like a, I can go to one place and then if I want to I can fill out the rest of the neck and that's how we're going to do it so in this instance we'll, we'll stick to that key of A A power chord rock you know how you call it an A blues key where well, you could is an A rock key, I guess, um, in that it's not defined as major or minor. Um, so, in this position here with our root note on the E string, I can either do a minor pentatonic box one, or pentatonic box two, which would make it major. sure that's going to blow a lot of people's minds so let me just kind of go through that in a bit more detail okay um, remember the crucial aspect we talked about in lesson one of this course that the boxes are boxes so when I say pentatonic box two no matter where you put that on the neck that's going to look like this this, is this box could be down here could be down here could be up here it could be in E major it could equally be C sharp minor the same place the the application of it is totally separate from the box itself so in this instance in terms of what you just need to remember the basics are that you want to over that first root note of the of, of the key of a in this case you can play box one and the application of box one in that position will make it sound minor okay because you've got in, in a minor key you've got root flat third fourth fifth So that's pulling out all the minor sounds over the power chord. If you play box two from the A, okay, box two. So I'm not talking about going up to box two as if it was box two in A minor. I'm talking about doing that. I'm talking about from exactly the same starting point. Instead of playing box one, play box two. That is how you find the major pentatonic notes okay so these notes are now root second major third fifth sixth and root so we're pulling out you know root second third fifth sixth and root we're pulling out all the notes that are untouched unharmed all from that major scale so suddenly our a power chord starts to sound very Major. Okay. So using the box one here it pulls out the flat third, the flat seven, notes that are really defined by the minor. Pulling out the box two in this same place pulls out the root, the second, the third, the sixth, all the notes that are quite definitively major. Um, and that's the concept here. So all you need to do to kind of get started with this with this idea is hit your power chord and you can play this anywhere on the neck anytime you play that power chord shape on the e string 
If you hit your minor, if you hit your pentatonic box one, you'll be doing the minor. If you hit that power chord again, and this time go to your box two, you'll be doing your major. Okay, so the first thing I want you guys to do is have a little bit of fun with that. So let's say I just have this A power chord rocking. I'm going to hit the box one initially for a minor sound. do that in different keys so I can now I'm going to do it in C so minor major minor major you've got that you know root on the E string you can do the box one and box two box one will sound minor box two will sound major and it is as simple as that okay so your first task here guys is to have some fun with that so literally you know, put a loop on or just find a, a backing track in any um, any rock backing track that uses power chords and you can do exactly that okay so you can find the key so you can be like okay this rock backing track is in G Okay, and it might be whatever track it is, and you just go, okay, G minor, G major. And you can see how your pentatonic playing starts to define the sound of that track. Okay, that's how powerful it can be. So have a bit of fun with that, and then we come back in the next lesson, we'll do the next, another position. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. If you want to start from the beginning of the whole playlist, so the whole course in order, you can click here. If you just want to go straight to the next lesson, you can click here. As well as that, please do like and subscribe. Click that notification bell so that you can see what courses we've got coming up as they're released. And do leave a comment. Remember, we love to hear from you guys, and we're very happy to answer all the questions that you've got about the courses.